Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm doing something that I don't think I've ever done on my channel before and I kind of, if this goes well, I kind of think I might want to make this a series. So let's see how this goes. But basically, I asked you guys on my Instagram as well as my YouTube channel to send me any questions that you had about life, anything you need advice on, anything that you're going through, or if you have like a juicy secret that you like me to tell someone, um, I'm your girl. <laughs> and you guys really came through. Before we get started, I just want to remind you that I am not authorized to be giving you this advice, okay? So I'm just going to be answering these questions the way that I would handle them because obviously I don't know all the information, all the details that's going on in your life right now. So I'm just kind of going to take what you give me and put myself in your shoes. So let's do it. How do I stop catching feelings for guys who I've been friends with for years? Help. That is a really good question and it's also kind of tricky because when you start dating someone, it's always best for the relationship when you have known them for a little bit. If you have been friends with them for a while, it's more of a bonus, but if you're really close friends with them, it can be bad news. Take that from someone with experience. I had this best friend for like three years and he was such a good friend to me. We would literally talk on the phone every single night until like 3 a.m. just having such good conversations, but we were strictly platonic friends and I never really saw him as anything more. And he ended up asking me out and I honestly regret taking that chance because, spoiler alert, we broke up <laughs> and it didn't end well. And I feel really bad because I lost a really good friend over a relationship that really never needed to happen. Your question does specifically say for guys who I've been friends with for years. Honestly, if you have been friends for that long, I would say just try your hardest to stay away. On the other note, if you feel something, like if you really, really believe that you can take it there to like a relationship level or like something more than just friends and be okay after things might end, then go for it because you never know. I fell in love with my best friend who I'm still together with till this day for five years and that's the best decision that I've ever made. So you really have to ask yourself, do I want to mess up this friendship with this guy that I've been friends with for years over a breakup that's eventually gonna happen? You can kind of see how these things are gonna play out. You know what I'm saying? So just be picky about it, but just know that it's usually never worth it when it comes to like a really good friend like that. How do you tell the person that loves you that you're not interested? If you are not interested in someone, Honesty is the best policy. You just need to let them down like you would want to be let down if you were in that position. So just tell them like, I'm so sorry. I just do not feel the same way about you. Do not lead them on. Do not give them any mixed signals. Do not give them false hope. Definitely don't do that. Just be straight out and honest and very clear. Be very clear okay, that you don't feel that way. The story that I just told about the guy that I was friends with and then we started dating, we actually broke up because he told me that he loved me after a month of dating and I told him I wasn't there yet. I straight out told him like, I'm so sorry, I'm not there yet, but I could be there and that wasn't enough for the dude. So he was like, Ch -ch -ch, we're done and that's okay, but you just have to be honest. How to not get nervous around the person you're interested in. Ooh, we have a little crush. Do we have a little crush, do we? Oh my God. First of all, it is totally normal to be nervous around the person that you're interested in. So don't ever feel embarrassed about that. But I know for a fact that when you see that person that you have a crush on or like, is a potential like love interest. You see them across the room. You see them walking across the classroom. Okay, I don't know if you're still in school, but you just see them in any setting and you're like, damn and your heart just be pounding, your palms are just sweating, your knees are just weak, your arms are heavy, vomit on a sweat and mom's spaghetti. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll stop. But you know the feeling. And uh, chances are, if they're interested in you too, they're feeling the same way. So it's totally, completely normal. I don't know if you are friends with this person or if you're ever in a position where you're talking to them or hanging out with them, but if you ever are and you're nervous, just try to calm down, take deep breaths, and just be yourself. I've taken several public speaking classes and every time that they start like the introduction for the class, they always tell you, the number one thing they always tell you is that if you're nervous up there, the classroom or the crowd, the audience, they cannot tell unless you tell them, I'm nervous. So don't ever be like, oh my God, I'm nervous. Just play it cool, be yourself, and they probably won't even notice that you're nervous. So I got prego and my parents don't know. How do I tell them? 
and I don't know who the father is, so I don't know WTF to do. Sis, this is a big question. First of all, thank you for confiding in me to tell me this. Let's unpack this step by step. I'm here for you. We will do this together. Your first question is, my parents don't know, how do I tell them? I wish that I had a little bit more information, maybe like your age, because it does differ, like the severity of this, if you're in your teens, as opposed to if you're like a 20 year old, 22 year old. But at the end of the day, the question is, how do I tell them? Honestly, you just have to come clean and tell them any way that you feel comfortable. If you cannot physically get the words out, write it out on a piece of paper, maybe show them a pregnancy test. Maybe if you're like at an age where it's more acceptable to have a baby, you can tell them in a funny way, like do a little reveal in a funny way, like holding a bottle of prego sauce like near your belly or something. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you have to tell them. But the second part is, I don't know who the father is. Now, what I would do, if this was me, I would go to the doctor, see how far along I am, maybe try and calculate when I could have possibly gotten pregnant and kind of like match that up with what guy I was with. The only thing that I don't really know how to give you that much of an opinion on is how you're gonna proceed after you figure out who the father is. Are you gonna want to have him in his kid's life? Are you even gonna tell him? These are all questions that are good to think about. I wish that we could talk on the phone right now, but I hope this all turns out well. I hope that your parents take it well and best of luck. Advice for stress. You have come to the right person because I am stressed 24 seven, but I have definitely found out that taking time to relax, first of all, making sure that you have time to yourself throughout the day is super important, not only for yourself and your body, but your mental health as well. If you're undergoing a lot of stress, you definitely need to take breaks. If you're handling things that are like super hard on you, sis, take breaks. Also, another thing that has actually really been a stress reliever to me is going to the gym. Any physical activity can definitely help brighten your mood. So yeah, take breaks, self-care, exercise. Are there ever points in your life where you want to give up? How do you overcome that? There have definitely been times in my life where I have been defeated and just so low that yes, I do feel like giving up at some points. As far as like giving up, like maybe trigger warning um, right here like taking my own life. If we're being honest, I mean, it's crossed my mind before. I have never acted on it, thankfully, but yeah, there have definitely been times in my life where I have been just like in a dark place. But how did I overcome that? For me personally, staying productive, staying active, always doing something, staying busy. Even though I remember having like no motivation at the time, you have to push through it. And I wish I had a better answer for you. It's a struggle that everyone handles in a different way and if you're at a very low point in your life right now please know that there are so many people that can talk to you about these things and that will listen to you i will listen to you my dms are always open this goes for everybody i always say that i have my dms open for everybody so we can literally talk i will always answer your messages i hope that everything gets better in time and i hope that you get over that hard point in your life right now advice on balancing YouTube, social, and school life. Girl, have I got the tea for you? Actually, I don't know if I have the tea for you because I find it so hard. I am doing all of those and it's really, really hard. If I had the Krabby Patty secret formula, I would have given it up by now. I don't know how I do it. I really don't. And I'm not, like that sounds like kind of cocky and I don't mean to come off that way, but it's a lot to handle. It is so much to handle. I'm starting to take like harder classes, upper division classes, now that I've like moved on in my college career. And it's getting hard. There's a lot more that's expected of me and so, Throwing that in the mix and throwing in trying to come up with a video idea every week and trying to film, finding time to film, finding time to do homework, finding time to spend time with my boyfriend, finding time to clean my room, finding time for me, finding time for my friends, finding time for my family. <sighs> It is so hard. It's a juggling act that I am not really getting good at, but I've just learned kind of how to keep the ball rolling. Just know that if you're trying to do YouTube or anything, it's gonna be hard, but I wish you the best of luck and I wish I had more advice to give to you on that, but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still figuring it out too. Advice for someone wanting to start a YouTube channel. <gasps> oh my God, are you gonna start one? Are you gonna start one? Oh my God, tell me. 
Tell me when you do. Okay, tell me when you do. But I've actually made an entire video dedicated to like tips and advice on starting a YouTube channel, so I will link that down below for you if you haven't seen it yet. But basically my top few tips for starting a YouTube channel is you just gotta do it. If this is something that you really wanna do, just go for it. You don't have to have nice equipment or a fancy camera. You can just literally use your phone and just know that as long as you are genuine and authentic and you are happy doing what you are doing, people will come and people will love you and I love you. You're gonna do just fine. Stop putting it off because everyone puts it off and have fun with it. So I have a couple more questions, but I think I'm gonna save those for another video. But I wanna thank you guys so much for asking me questions. I really enjoyed scrolling through your messages, your DMs, and the Google form that I had posted. So thank you, I really enjoyed doing this, and I think that I gave you some good advice, I hope I did. And if you guys have any advice that maybe differs from mine or maybe you wanna add on to it, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. We can all talk about it. I felt like a big sister giving you guys advice and that's what I want this to be. I want this to be like a safe space and a safe community for us to talk about whatever it is that you guys wanna talk about or whatever you're going through, whatever drama is happening in your life, um, I'm here for you. So if you wanna turn this into a series, which I do. Let me know in the comment section and if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. As always I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye!